commencé la peinture, il n'avait que 10 ans. Pour occuper ses mercredis après-midi, une voisine lui avait proposé donc, de lui donner des cours d'art. Et je crois que ça a été quand même la révélation. C'est-à-dire, qu'est-ce qu'on pouvait faire avec la matière Parce qu'il ne faisait pas juste un dessin, c'était vraiment travailler la matière, le sable, le tout ça, la colle. Et euh, ces quatre premiers petits tableaux, ils sont toujours affichés, ils sont toujours accrochés à la maison. Euh, C'est pour se rappeler du, du commencement. Donc ça, il avait 10 ans. I understood later that through the lessons, Isabelle Outremont, which were our teacher, wasn't here to give to us some techniques, but she was actually here to share to us one thing which is I think the most important in art, in contemporary art, is how to open your mind. In 2010, when I was only 15 years old, I decided to do the annual art show of uh, my town, Saint-Cyrical, and I don't know why, I think I needed to, to know what people were thinking about my works, and when I'm showing my paintings, I don't want to know if the people like or not what I'm doing. I don't care this. What is the most important, I think, is to know if the paintings make to the people feel something inside them. Something which is not do they like or do they don't like it, is what do they feel, what, do, what does the painting make them feel inside them. During the show, the public were allowed to decide their best artist. They, so they were voting during the show, and I still don't know why. I was so surprised they decided, like more than 200 people decided to elect me as the best, the best artist with one of my, um, one of my paintings, which is the Black Rain, and I was just, just in the first time I'm winning something and I think winning this prize has been the beginning of something. Il a fait une deuxième exposition, euh, donc il a travaillé un peu plus, du coup il en a fait différents modèles, des petits, des grands, euh, on leur donnait des noms, hein, c'était. Puis chacun il voyait ce qu'il voulait, donc c'était un peu chouette. Hein. Et puis euh, bon, il s'est arrêté de peindre, il a recommencé. Oh la vanille. La... La peinture c'était quand même en lui, mais on a l'impression qu'il y a des moments, des phases où il était plus calme, il n'avait pas besoin de, de dire euh, ce qu'il avait au fond de lui. Je pense que l'année 2014, Antoine euh, l'a vécu euh, un peu comme un vide artistique. Il n'avait plus d'inspiration, il sentait qu'il avait fait pour quelque chose. En fait, euh, il avait besoin de nouvelles histoires à raconter, de nouvelles visions à trouver. Alors en septembre, il décide de tout plaquer, comme ça sur un coup de tête, pour aller s'installer à Londres. Et quand il est revenu de six mois là-bas, il s'est devenu un artiste. Le matin, je me levais, il avait commencé une toile, 
le lendemain matin, il avait fini. Je sentais, je sentais quand il avait travaillé, parce que ça sent la bombe à la maison quand il travaille. Et puis là, c'est l'émerveillement chaque matin. During the show in Versailles, um, I decided to on the main entrance, the main, just after the main door, to put an, an art installation. It was a big square like that. And all around the square there were some little canvas which were which were writing on the canvas some some little sentences like express yourself. Um, I'm just mad, uh, be crazy, or other things like this. And the goal of this installation was actually to 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 help people to get inside of my character, because when people are looking to a painting, the first thing they want to do is to know what was the sense that the artist wanted to give to the paintings and what I want to the people what I want to, to people make when they are looking to my works is what sense do they give to the canvas and this little illustration was actually to if you want to if you want to know how I'm feeling when I'm painting what well which sense do I give to my heart just read that and you will be more peaceful after that and you will be able to understand all the exhibition. Uh, I really like the exhibition of Antoine, first of all, because uh, there's a lot of colors. And second of all, it's, uh, as you can see, it's abstract art. And uh, I really like it because at the end, like, uh, everyone sees the art differently. And on, with Antoine, uh, I can see with all the people during the exhibition, but they have all a different way to see the... Uh, Each of the paints. Tout ce qu'il fait, ça touche beaucoup. Euh, D'ailleurs, moi personnellement, ça me réjouit pas seulement que l'étoile me touche. Il a décidé de faire sur des nains de jardin ce qu'il faisait sur ses toiles blanches. 